All right, that's it guys. You guys know how to do it now? Go ahead and upholster your panels. I'm just kidding. Here's a full detailed step-by-step -step tutorial. So stay with me and we'll get this thing done. Okay, first things first is you're gonna have to trace out all the panels. Butcher paper is a great option for this. Next, you wanna cut them out and then test fit every single one of them until they're perfect. After you've done that, go ahead and transcribe them down onto your backer board. Once they're all transcribed, go ahead and cut them out. I used a jigsaw. You probably don't have to, but I sanded all the edges just to make sure that they fit perfectly. After you take a little break, go ahead and roll out your eighth inch foam and place all of your panels so that you can trace them out. Go ahead and admire your work and then cut it out. Once your panels are cut out, go ahead and use 3M90 to adhere the panels to the backer board. Make sure to spray both of them. When adhering the panels to each other, there's no easy way to do this, tips or tricks. You just gotta feel it out and make sure there's no air bubbles. If you guys have a better way of doing this, this is the only way that I could find the holes for the actual foam so that I could drill a hole through both the foam and the backer board. I put a thumbtack on a piece of tape and then I put it behind each hole. Then I transcribed it onto the foam. Really, there's gotta be a better way to do this. This is just the way that I did it. I didn't really film too much of this. These little clips that I'm using, I'll have a link in the description below, but I just used those. Then I cut away the foam and got it ready for fabric. The next step is to lay your fabric all on the ground upside down and then cut two inches to the exterior of your panels. When adhering the fabric to your panels, you're gonna use a different adhesive and it's called Super 77. When using Super 77, just like adhering your panels to the foam, you're gonna spray both the fabric and the foam. There is a lot of footage here of us trying to adhere the back section of the panels. This is just to give you guys an idea of how to do it. I did each panel one by one, so I cut a V on all of the corners and most of the flat sections, I just folded it straight over. In this step, you're gonna be using 3M90 instead of Super 77 because it adheres a lot better and has a stronger hold. Here we used automotive clips from eBay. I have a link in the description below if you guys wanna check that out. For not ever upholstering anything, I think the panels came out really well. Here is our panel with the garage lights on them. This is kind of showing you how we uh, incorporated the light into the rear section of our door. Okay guys, that's it. If you guys follow along with that tutorial, then you'll be pretty much good for all of your panels. All of the links for the stuff that I use will be down in the description below. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and consider subscribing. And remember guys, create what you love. See you on the next one.